Welcome to Masters Academy. In this video, we are going to see the topic composite sections and temperature stresses from the course Strength of Materials. And this course is common for civil and mechanical engineering. And also, we are going to see few previous year questions from Gate and Engineering Service. In composite sections, the following parameters has been used. P represents the total load on the bar. L means length of the bar. A represents respective cross section area of the bars. E capital E means Young's modulus of each bars. T that is load on respective bars. Sigma represents the stress and small e which represents the strain on each bars. Now in composite sections two things are very very essential. First one is the load is shared by their members which means the total load that is equal to sum of load on each bar. So total load that is applied in common to these two bars by using a horizontal rigid bar and the load on first bar plus load on second bar that is equal to the total load. And second equation is strain. That means strain is equal. So strain on each bar, right? Total strain is equal to strain on first bar that is equal to strain on second bar. The equation can be written based on Hooke's law PL by AE. Next one is temperature stresses. In temperature stresses, when a material undergoes change in temperature, then you will have a thermal stress or temperature stresses. Right? So the material expands or contracts depending upon whether the temperature is increased or decreased. If the temperature is increased, then the material will get expands. If the temperature is decreased, then material will contract. Now, coming to the important point here, right? Whether the expansion or a contraction that is restricted, then only you will have a thermal stress. If the expansion or a contraction is not restricted, then you will have no thermal stress, right? Just remember this important point, right? If there is a restriction, then you will have a thermal stress. There is no restriction, you will have no thermal stress. You will be having only strain. Okay, so the strain due to temperature change is called a thermal strain or temperature strain. Similarly, the stress that is due to temperature change that is called thermal stress or a temperature stress. Next one, combination of thermal stress and composite section. Here, there are two materials are taken. One is brass and another one is steel. When a temperature load, that means the temperature is increased in these two materials, the brass will have a higher expansion comparing to steel because brass has a higher coefficient of linear expansion. Now, these two materials are joined by using a rigid plate, then the brass and steel are acting like a single element and both things will have an equivalent expansion, right? So, in order to attain this equivalent expansion in the brass, it should have a compressive load and in steel, it should have a tensile load to attain this equivalent expansion. So, if you are having a composite section where one material has a higher coefficient of linear expansion like brass and other material has a lower coefficient of linear expansion like a steel, then if you need an equivalent expansion, the higher coefficient of linear expansion material, brass will have a compressive load. Similarly, the steel material will have a tensile load. In the composition section with the thermal stress, in order to attain an equilibrium system, we are assuming that the compression in brass is equal to the tensile in steel. So, the load on brass that will be equal to load on steel which means load on brass is a compressive load and load on steel is a tensile load. So we know the equation that is equal to stress into area here, right? So next one, the actual expansion of steel that is equal to actual expansion in brass, which means actual expansion means the free expansion of steel, right? Due to temperature change plus expansion due to tensile stress, right? Because the steel has a lower coefficient of linear expansion due to that it will have a tensile load that's why we are using a plus sign here and the expansion due to tensile stress that is equal to expansion of brass expansion of brass means free expansion of brass due to temperature change minus 
contraction due to compressive stress because brass has a higher coefficient of linear expansion it should have a compressive load to attain an equivalent strain right that's why i have used negative sign here so if you write the equation this is the right for a free expansion of steel due to temperature change alpha t l plus stress by young modulus into l this is a normal stress similarly for a brass material let's do few previous year questions so this is a gate question in this question you can see a uniform slender cylindrical rod which is made of a homogeneous and isotrophic material and the rod rests on a frictionless surface rod is heated uniformly and radial longitudinal thermal stresses are represented by sigma r and sigma z you need to find the value of radial stress and sigma z right so here you need to know the important point in this question is frictionless surface so if you are having a frictionless surface means there is no restriction if there is no restriction no thermal stress will occur you will have only strain that's why the answer for the question is sigma r sigma z both values are zero because there is no restriction no thermal stress so the answer for the question is a in this question a circular rod of length l cross section area a and modulus of elasticity e coefficient of thermal expansion r alpha these data has been given one end of the rod is fixed and other end is free if the temperature of rod is increased by del t then which statement is right that is what the question is right so read the statement one the stress developed in the rod is e alpha t and strain developed in the rod is alpha del t right and similarly coming to the d option both stress and strain developed is zero option c stress is zero and strain is alpha del t option d the stress in the rod is e alpha del t and strain is zero these are the options which is given in the question the right answer for the question is c because here the basic concept of temperature stresses is no restriction means no thermal stress only strain will occur if there is a restriction then there will be a thermal stress there will be no strain that is the basic thing right okay so you can see here one end is fixed and other end is free so it is free to expand if it is free to expand means no restriction no thermal stress will be there only strain so option c is the right answer here next question here a steel cube with all faces are free to deform from this point itself we should know that all faces are free to deform means no restriction so no thermal stress you will be having only strain so read the question completely young smallness is given poisson's ratio is given coefficient of thermal expansion is given the pressure the load that is a hydrostatic stress that is developed within the cube when it is subjected to a uniform increase in temperature right so you need to calculate the pressure developed within the so here the answer is zero that is the answer for this question this is an engineering service question in this question a steel rod 10 mm diameter and 1 meter long which is heated from 20 degree celsius to 120 degree celsius young smallness is given alpha value is given so the rod is not free to expand which means there is a restriction for expansion so surely you will have a thermal stress so the thermal stress formula is alpha te alpha means coefficient of linear expansion that is given in the question 12 into 10 power minus 6 temperature is from 20 degree to 120 degree celsius change in temperature is 100 degree celsius and young smallness that is given in the question 2 into 10 to the power 5 mega pascals converted into mega pascal substitute it you will find the answer 240 mega pascal right now here the value 240 mega pascal is right you need to calculate whether it is compressive or a tensile that is the main thing here right how to do this let's think it there are two walls 
and the steel rod which is fixed between these two walls. So the restriction means you will be having a restriction for expansion. If there is a restriction for expansion, then if there is a restriction for expansion, then you will be having a compressive stress, right? If there is a restriction for contraction, you will be having a tensile stress. Just remember this part. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts, you can contact the number through WhatsApp. Your doubts can be clarified and you can follow our page, Telegram page, Insta page and FB page. So daily updates will be there in these social medias. Thank you for watching once again. Subscribe to the channel.